Let's design the profile screen. Open your Photoshop. From Photoshop, select File. From there, select New. And in the name, type Instagram Profile. Make the width 750 and the height 1334, resolution 72, and click OK. And now we have the artboard or the canvas or working document. Let's bring the status bar from the exercise file. And drag and drop it to our Instagram profile document. Place it on the top. Okay. Press the down arrow key a few times. Okay. Select the rectangle tool from the toolbar. And select the rectangle tool, drag and draw a shape. From this corner, from the top left corner. And... Place it here. Make sure its height is 150, 150, and leave it. Select the fill color from the fill select color and the hex code type FAFAFA. Press enter. Now you will see a very slight light gray color, very subtle. Let's see the differences. Okay. Now again, select the rectangle, the layers from the layer panel, and select the rectangle from the toolbar. Now you'll see the four corners will appear. And now press Command T from the keyboard, and select the right side corner. From the right hand side, hold down the Alt key from the keyboard and drag in the right side. So you'll see the opposite corner also increasing simultaneously and leave it this way. Click OK. Select the border, or you can select it from the properties, the border. Make it two pixels, put two and press enter. OK, now it has two pixels. Select the color, select color. From here, select this, B B B B B B the hex code. Click OK. Select the Move tool. Now see how it looks? Yeah, it's fine. Now let's make it, let's place it in the center. Okay, let's go to the exercise file again. And this time bring this setting PNG to, to Photoshop. And drag and drop and place it in our working document. So select the setting icon. Well, this one is selected. Press Control or Command T in order to resize this one. Let's cancel this one. Before we make this one smaller, select this layer and convert this to a smart object. And now press Command plus T from the keyboard and make it smaller. Resize this icon. Hold down the Shift key from the keyboard. OK. Now bring this one and place it here in this corner. And now let's go to, the, to make some guidelines. Let's see our document. We don't see the status bar. Select the status bar, which is this one. Drag and drop it to the top of all the layers, so it will be here again. Now go to the View menu. From there, select New Guide Layout. From there, New Guide Layout. Select the column. You will see the two columns. Okay, leave it like that and select the margin. From the margin, leave the top at 20 pixels. We don't need that one. Just leave it. From the left, put 28 pixels, and for the right, also put 28 pixels. So we will have that one. Guideline from the right side at 28 pixels, from the left side 28 pixels for the margin. 
Okay. See the margin left 28, right 28. And we don't need the bottom 20 pixels and the top 20 pixels. So, okay. And now select the setting icon, which is this one. And align this one with the guideline. Okay, great. It's a user profile screen. So we have to type a username. So select T from the keyboard or this T from the toolbar. And click here and type Sarah Scott. Click OK. Select the Move tool to move this text. And make sure this text is in the middle in the center of this rectangle shape. So let's bring in a guideline. Okay. Okay, fine. And go to the character panel. And from there, this font is Arial Bold. The size is 34. And the color hex code is 262626. Click OK. Select the setting icon. Make it smaller. Command or Control T from the keyboard. Make it smaller. Click OK. Again, place it here. OK, bring a guideline to check it, whether it's aligned or not. And we don't need the exact same alignment or the same size with this text. Press the down arrow key a few times. Okay, so now we have our top bar. Let's place everything inside a group. Select the layer, which is the status bar for the first one. Hold down the command key and select text Sarah Scott. Select the setting icon, which is layer two, and select uh, rectangle one. Press command or control G from the keyboard and double click here. Type top bar, press enter. Let's place two more guidelines from the top side. And place this guideline at 178. Okay, bring another guideline from the top bar or the top side. And place it at 276. 276. Okay, great. And now let's select the rectangle tool from the toolbar. And select this one, the ellipse tool. And then drag and draw a shape and hold down the shift key from the keyboard. So we would have the, a perfect round shape. And make sure this one is 180 by 180. One hundred eighty by one eighty and leave it. And this one is not filled since we it was selected from the option bar before we drew the shape. Select the shape and fill it with gray color. Okay, select the move tool. And place this one here. Make sure it is aligned with a guideline from the top side and the left hand side. So we have our circle shape. And select the rectangle tool again from the toolbar. And this time select round rectangle tool. Or the rectangle tool. Let's select the rectangle tool. And drag and draw a shape from here this way. And anyway, just drag and make a shape and leave it for now. Go to the properties. From here, you can select from this one or you can select the properties from the option bar. You can change the size, the height, width, and the color. So make this one, this shape, uh, 455 by 67. 455 by 67. And press enter. And for the radius, Select the radius, this one, and make sure it's five pixels. Leave it. So all the corners will be five pixels. And now 
Let's change the color. Select color from here, or you can select the color from the option bar. Select color, and in the hex code, type uh, EF, EF, EF. Click OK. Since we have colorized, also, now let's minimize that. Select the Move tool from the toolbar and place this shape. Align with these two guidelines from the top side and from the left-hand side. So now you have our two different shapes. One is round rectangle, one is the circle shape. And so you'll fill this circle shape with a profile image. So select the circle shape, which is the ellipse 1. Go to the exercise file, and from there select Sarah Scott Profile. Select the image of Sarah Scott Profile, and bring this one to Photoshop. Unlock it. And drag this one to our working document. Place it here. Okay. Now convert this image to a smart object. And right-click the mouse button and select Create Clipping Mask. So this image will be clipped inside this round shape. Now again, that the image is selected and press Command plus T from the keyboard. And let's resize it. Resize it by... Hold down the Shift key from the keyboard. Okay. And now let's bring... Okay. Let's increase the size again. And place it here, like that. Okay, click OK from the option bar. So now we have the profile image for Sarah Scott. And now we will type here first following and then follower. Select the T from the toolbar or press T from the keyboard. And click here. And type edit profile. We don't see the text since this shape is behind the rectangle shape. Let's bring it to the top of this rectangle shape. Now the edit profile will appear. Select the move tool and place it in the middle of this shape. Go to the character panel. And make sure this text size is 30. Press enter. And the font is Arial Bold. And the color is the same one we used in the top bar. 26, 26, 26. Click OK. And again, select the Edit Profile text. Make sure it is in the center of this shape. Press the down arrow key a few times. OK. Press Command plus 0. Press Command plus semicolon in order to hide the guidelines. And let's see how our screen looks. And we are missing numbers in the top side. Post, following, and follower. Now we'll do that. Zoom in. Let's bring back the guides. Plus command or control plus semicolon from the keyboard. And you will see that you have the guidelines back. And select the T from the keyboard or select this T and click here. And type here the number 567, press enter or OK from the option bar. Press Control or Command plus enter in order to accept this text and place it here. OK. OK, great. Let's make a copy of this text, the number. Select the Move tool and hold down the Option or Alt from the keyboard and drag a copy. A duplicate copy. And make sure the distance is 77, 78. Uh, we actually need 77, but 78 is showing. Just leave it. And press the left arrow key one time. So we have one pixel less. And double click in this number and type 3456. Drop this into the follower and following, and drag and draw another one of this text. Hold down the Alt or Option key to copy it, and press 
place it here at 76 pixels and leave it. So now you have the three different texts uh, for the number. Yeah, it's aligned okay. And now select the T again from the keyboard or from the toolbar. Click here and type posts. Click OK. Select the move tool. Bring it here beneath the 567. OK. Go to the character panel. It would be Arial Regular and the size would be 28 pixels. Press Enter. And the uh, color hex code will be 999999. Click OK. Let's see. Make it smaller, this post text layer. Let's make it 24. OK, make it 24, this text layer. OK, now let's make a copy of this one. Hold down the Alt or Option key from the keyboard and make a duplicate text layer and place it here. Double click here and type followers. Press Command plus Enter or Control plus Enter from the keyboard and make an, another duplicate copy of this followers. Hold down the Alt or Option key from the keyboard and make a copy. Bring it here. Double click here and type following. Oops, let's remove the S. Following. Press Command plus Enter or Control plus Enter in order to accept it. So now we have the profile screen for Instagram. We have posts, follower, and following. 